So what happens when you combine this, this, and this? That. It's a hot chocolate ginger snap. Snap. Obviously. Obviously. Now when it comes to fridge cams, I tend to get my head around the recipe and what I want to do with that. But the smirk on Jamie's face says he has other plans. My job is to make it as entertaining and as fun as possible. For that reason, I'm scared. And I, I like this. I really like that we're in a new place, we're in a new studio, we're in a new kitchen. I just don't like whereabouts we are. So why don't we just move over here? We could just, well, that's it. We could just move over here, because I really like this wall as a backdrop. How does that work for you? Does it work for you? Looks good. Perfect. Right, carry on. Right, we're going to start off with the thing that decorates the dish. So we <laughs> just moved it out of the light. <laughs> Fine, don't worry. So we're going to start off with a cup of sugar, and that's going to form the basis of our brittle into a pan. We're going to heat it to a caramel, a golden colour, nice. and then later on we'll add in some almond flakes. And these are all ingredients we got left over from our Christmas shoot, so we're making the most of them. Next up, we're going to infuse an incredible cream, which is going to form the basis of this hot chocolate drink. Okay. So it starts with incredibly rich creme anglaise. So we've got a fresh custard. Quick question. Yes. Are you happy where we are now? Or would you rather we moved round here and had this as our backdrop? I like that too. I like that too. Excellent. Oh, no, hi, mate. <laughs> right. I'm going to move. Good. Now, I find the creme glaze is a little bit thick, so I'm going to go in the equal ratio of milk to thin it out. Yep. Next up, we need the flavour. The flavour oh. comes in the form of ginger nuts. So we're going to add in a handful of these into the pan, and as we heat up the milk and the creme glaze, they'll go soggy, but they will infuse an amazing flavour into that milk. <laughs> I wow! It, I think it's telling you you shouldn't be moving this around. There we go, creme anglaise is fusing. Now a hot chocolate wouldn't be a hot chocolate without some chocolate. So, next up, we've got a bar of 85% chocolate. It's going to go into nice. our bain-marie and will just very slowly melt. Just come over here. Right, carry on. Now that our caramel is starting to turn a nice golden colour, we're going to grab hold of our almonds, toasted almonds. And when you're working with caramel, you have to be so careful not to mess around. What we've got here is really, really hot sugar. That's this for you, Raph. Is this all right? <laughs> so right now, the almond's going in. And then, we'll just pour it onto a tray we've got pre-lined with baking paper. And now, I'm going to use a spoon to spread it out. Okay. Just so it's nice and thin. And later on, we're going to tear it into shards. Next up, we have our beautiful, quite thick, ginger nut cream. So it's half custard, half cream, and a little bit of ginger nut. All we need to do now is strain all of the rubbish out and we get an amazing juice. Now over there, Jamie, there's a spoon on the end of that table. If you want to just go and get it. Whereabouts? <laughs> Come on. Now you can go, you don't have to take the kitchen. Come on. Come on. Can you help? Let's go this way. There you go. Lovely. Whereabouts was that spoon you just wanted? Just at the end of the table. Of that end? A bit more. Sorry, a bit more. Oh, use a fork actually, that's fine. And the reason I want that fork is oh, now that we've... Now I'm in. He's in. And now we've got the fork. I just want you to taste that and tell me how incredible that is. Oh. So, so good. Oh. Yeah, it's that good that I double dip. You double dip? Yeah. Jamie. Hey. Can I try some? Uh, do you want to try some? I'd love oh. to try some. Right. Here we come. I want one of these at home. This is amazing. <laughs> right. Uh, I got the end of a spoon. At the end of my spoon. spoon. Now. That is amazing. Ridiculous. It's such a good recipe, and look how we've ended up doing it. <laughs> right, this is the best part. I'm not going to mix it together. We've got our hot chocolate, we've yep. got our infused cream, we've got our chocolate. I'm going to keep this separate inside of a glass. Ooh. So, our melted chocolate off of our bain-marie, followed by the cream. Now this is the future. I just want to point out, this is the future. At the moment, if you're watching this on, an, you know, on a tablet, or a phone, or a laptop, Balls. or even a TV... Who else is bored? I might go make a cup of tea. Like TV, um, one day you will actually be able to, it's like an interactive thing, isn't it? It's fantastic. Sorry, Ben, you were saying. Next up, we're going to pour our ginger infused cream into here. This, I, I've not picked the best bowl to do this one. Well, you want is a jug. Oh, sorry, Raph. Have a little sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the sit down's all well and good, Raph, but what happens when <laughs> I move backwards? And then to finish it off, we'll grate over some ginger nut. And the great thing is, you serve it with a long spoon, so people at the table turn it into a hot chocolate. Turn it Plus, into. we have the beauty of our brittle. Yep. 
That is a pretty awesome treat for any Christmas, especially Christmas Eve, whenever you've got some time for you and the family. It's our ginger nut hot chocolate. Sorted. Now this is quite possibly one of the richest hot chocolates ever. What we really need is some hunky men to pick up the chaise longue for us, don't we? Well, I just <laughs> carry it shoulder Surely height. You, you must owe some. <laughs> When's this start to get awkward, Ben? The moment we sit on the chaise longue. Right. Oh, man. That is amazing, but you wouldn't want a whole cup full, would you? Um, possibly a smaller shot glass. Mm. But you must know some really hunky men that no, can come I and move the chaise longue for us. Really? Nope. I haven't moved half the years. Not at all. No. Oh. I think that's a wrap. Is it a wrap? We're done. Where you guys go? Barry? Mike? Hello? Oh. Well, there's no point wasting this beautiful evening, is there, Ben? Or this chocolate. No. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I've always thought sorted has been a bit, you know, static. It has, isn't it? We could take this whole kitchen on the road. It would be amazing, that wouldn't would it? That would be good. Or, do you know what? What? Oh, look at this! There's a running thief oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> the fridge is on wheels now. Let's, ah. Oh. If we move that there. Right, let's do the rest of the fridge camping like here. I like it, I like it. So whilst you're on the move, let's talk about what we've been doing this week. Well, obviously, uh, we started the week with, uh, actually, our Christmas cook-along. Uh, now this is how you can take a whole Christmas dinner and cook it in four hours. Now the video's not actually four hours long. No, it's not. We do like cut in between, but we do give you all the instructions for how to do a Christmas yeah. dinner from beginning to end in four hours. Um, and Friday was a spectacular day. It was a homemade Sunday ice cream. Now this had homemade everything. It had actual homemade ice cream. It had homemade cookie dough to go in the ice cream. It had a homemade fudge sauce. It had praline. It was delicious. Ben, come and tell us how good this recipe was. Which one? The homemade ice cream. Oh, that was good. I think whilst we're in this, we may as well talk about Comet of the Week! We can! I, if you do hear the washing machine going, that's just Ben washing some of Tyreen's clothes. Tyreen? <laughs> Tyreen! <laughs> Tyreen! That's Tyreen's little sister. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Mark Dennehy, okay. uh, who has said, this is a quote, he I said, like, I like this one. Why can't you just watch porn like a normal person? The wife thinks I watch too many sorted food videos. And that was just after he'd, he'd liked our passion fruit souffle in a month. Which is recipe. practically porn. It is. And you know what? That fridge cam, it had everything. Do you reckon? I think it did. What do you reckon it had? I think it had a rotating fridge. It did. It also had a fantastic ginger nut hot chocolate. And it had a cook-along video for a whole Christmas dinner. And, oh, there's oh. a chair. And I also think it's probably going to have a load of comments underneath it talking about how dizzy people are. Oh, I'm so dizzy. I mind that. Right, well, we'll see you next week and goodbye. Have a fantastic one. Bye. Oh, Carol, I am such a fool. Don't ever leave me. You will always want to be my sweetheart, no matter what you are. Yeah, contra zoom. <laughs> <laughs> For a very reasonable price, you too can afford to get a personal cooking show in your home. <laughs> Details down Wait, below. Most of you are at home right now with a laptop on your <laughs> front of you. I've got this. Yeah. In this recipe, Ben has done things for biscuits I didn't think were possible. So there we go. Pushing the boundary.